Hey everyone, General Von Doom here. Welcome back from all Scrumble ship. So, I ended up losing my save of the ship, unfortunately. So I had to rebuild the frame. I did a few um, redesigns here and there. Not too much. The main um, noticeable change is that it's no longer got that bit sticking out in the middle. It's now just flat. This should make it easier for building the hill, I think. It's also a bit bigger than before. Um, by a factor of one. Or something, I don't know. I'm just not trying to sound intelligent. Which I'm failing at. Oh well. So. Now, I said it's ready for the hull. I think it is. So I'm going to do the front section first. What do I want to make the hull out of? I want to make it a chrome. Well, it's going to be a shiny ship in it, so let's make it out of gold. Um, doesn't necessarily mean, um, once this is in multiplier, it doesn't mean it's going to be actually made out of gold. It could be made out of steel, but it'll be painted gold. So, yeah. Hmm, I may have a pattern on here, I think. Instead of just plain gold, or yellow, which is yellow, not gold. Well, it's supposed to be gold. There we go. Okay, now for the under section. Let's see what I'm doing. Uh, one, two. I will figure this out. Ah, there we go. It's left one. So, uh, sort it like this. So, what I do is go across like this. Then, do this. Should make it slightly easier to build. I hope. Oops. So there's not been many suggestions. One of you did suggest building some sensor arrays. On um, the outside of the ship, dotted about. I may do that. Um, if any of you come up with any more suggestions, do, please do go ahead and tell me. I may or may not implement them. Depends if there are any good suggestions. Up. So, yep. uh, uh, God damn it! Pardon me. Um, if the oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What was I saying? If there's any good suggestions out there, I may I may implement them into the ship. If there's a bad suggestion, then I may not. Depends what you suggest, really. So that's the front one. Almost, actually. I'll do this now. Forgot about. Now, for those of you who don't know what Scrumble Ship is, I'm going to tell you, Scrumble Ship 
is a first person well, it's not a shooter. It's like Minecraft, but um, it's in space. And you get ships basically. Um, you get to build ships however you like. It's going to be a realistic simulation of space materials. So, um, if I shoot this ship with a laser, it's going to melt. You don't get that in any other game. That's why it's simulating stuff like um, heat and sort of liquid simulations in that. Also simulates G forces in that, but it's not doing that just yet because it's in alpha and they yet to even finish movement for the ships. But all in due time. So I imagine that multiplayer will be a bit like Eve Online. If any of played Eve, uh, I played a trial version of it. Um, you get like these companies and that factions, ev and it, the whole game is basically run by the players. You don't get like NPCs, um, NPC shops, and that. Everything is made by the players, and I imagine that's what Scrumble Ship's going to be like. Everything being made by the players, including ships, obviously. That's the main thing about the game, building ships. Ships to destroy one another, or transport cargo in massive freighters. Actually, you plan to build a kilometer long cargo ship. And that is um, how long uh, modern day cargo ships are now. A kilometer long. Perhaps massive. All in the name of profit and uh, getting as much cargo in that supply and demand, I suppose. Whatever I'm on about. So, okay, that's the front. Why do I want to be behind it? Silver, good. I'll use silver as a border. ships for and this could just be a ship for anyone right Let's see what I want to make out of for the rest of it so there's bronze no it's bronze it's brass bronze no it's horrible platinum Just do silicon. There is graphene as well, that's even darker. Um, yeah, let's do graphene. Alright, here's the boring bit, the most boring part of the game. Building the whole. Take hours on end just doing this. So whatever music I decide to put in this section, I hope it's really good. Because this is the most boring part of the video. And if you're enjoying it, then more power to you. I usually do the pulling sections like this. 
believe it saves a bit of time. Since I'm using graphene, this is probably the most expensive ship in the whole universe right now. Because graphene is apparently the most expensive material in the game. It requires so much carbon to make just one graphene block, it's unbelievable. So, making an entire ship's hull out of graphene is uh, a bit of a no-no. Unless you're filthy rich and got limited power or something. Like I hope my um, faction that I've got on Scrumble Ship, you should all know about it if you're in the community. If you don't, well, go find out yourself. Uh, I'm kidding. I won't be uh, have room to you all. It's just a faction in the company section on the forums called the Hanar Sovereignty. I'd say it's the most powerful faction in the game right now. In the whole community. <laughs> Evil buttons. Now, some of you don't even know what the Hanar Sorrent is all about. Oh, well, I don't even know either. I'd say it's uh, like an Imperial faction. Imperial Empire. Republic something on Planet Side 2. More like the Galactic Empire from Star Wars. Just a little less dramatic and uh, more technologically advanced, I'd say. Especially with ship construction. I mean, you've seen the Empire's Death Star, of course you have. That thing's got a bloody hole in it! And you can just fire one torpedo down there and boom, the whole Death Star's destroyed. Like, who, who puts a ventilation shaft right there? Leading all the way to their reactor which makes the whole Death Star go boom. And then expects no one to find out about it. Right. Yeah, we won't be building ships like that. I mean, space stations. And their ships, uh, and their Imperial Star Destroyers. A vast virus database They're has been updated. Useless. Because all their artillery is on top of their ship. The underneath is like really vulnerable, so if you had an entire fleet of Imperial Star, Star Destroyers, well, everyone's just going to go right underneath your fleet and destroy you. I'm sure that's where your gravity generator is as well, so no more walking about on your ship for you. Although there is no gravity blocks in Scrumble Ship. There are magnetic boots though, or will be. I'm sure that won't be as uh, effective as a gravity generator, I suppose. Or artificial gravity. How much of this have I done right now? So, there's two more sections to do. And here's the bridge in the middle. I'll be whipple shielding that later on. Give it a bit extra protection. I'm not sure I'd use this ship as a frigate after all, because it's a little small for me. I'd say it could be used as a small transport ship or something. Um, because it's just, yeah, I don't know. It could be a patrol ship, I suppose. And I need to refill my suit. Good job, I got that there. Every time I place a refill, I usually delete it afterwards. I don't know why. Just 
seems going my way, that's why I think. So, the other day, um, I was recording Zombie Survival on Gmod, and it turns out um, I did not have my mic on, it was on mute, and after I found that out, I absolutely flipped. So I apologise, I was going to do a Zombie Survival for you all, but because of that I couldn't release it, because it would just be boring. Very boring. And I played that zombie survival with Dylan. And I also had him on mute so you couldn't hear him. Uh, typical, innit? Yeah. Absolutely typical. Almost done here. Oh, I can't imagine building Dreadnought when, when it comes to that. It's gonna be like 300 meter. Sh it's gonna be a 300 meter long ship, or maybe even larger than that. Depends what my computer can handle. And it's gonna be absolutely massive, bigger than the Q Queen Mary Ann. I think that's what it's called. The QMA. A lot bigger. So, I was wondering what sort of games I should do now. I do have Armour 3. I'm not sure if I should even bother recording that since my SSD seems to get full very quickly, even on 720p. That's why I don't do recording in 1080p because my SSD is, is a very limiting factor for me. I definitely need a bigger SSD, like 250 gig one. I just can't afford it though. But if I had one, it would make recording a lot easier. Anyway, I was thinking of doing a few games, like survival games. Perhaps Fallout 3. I've got that there. I got the Game of the Year edition for that. Um, well, I've got Stalker. If you've heard of that. Or kill the prip no, I don't have called a prip yet anymore. I lost that some time. I don't know where it went. But I do have Shadow of Chernobyl and Clear Sky. So if you wanna see videos of that, just tell me if you wanna see videos of that basically. Or Fallout 3. I got a few other games as well. Had these for absolute years. Or I might as well play them. I'm just wondering if you all want to watch any of them. Because this, this channel's all about that, you know? Sharing my gaming gaming experience with all of you, all of you people. It's not, not necessarily a Let's Play channel. It's more of a Let's view channel. Let's watch him play games. I don't know what you call it really. I suppose it's Let's Play. And I'm totally not used to just constantly trying to think of stuff to talk about. This is why I don't usually do Let's Builds of games. 
my Minecraft because I, I, I just don't know what to talk about. And that's why it gets boring because I'm absolutely completely silent. And just checking the mic if, if it's muted or not. Because if it was, I'd absolutely flip. So it's not muted, which is very good. My Steam is on online mode, unfortunately. I should have set that to offline. Uh, just making sure there's no hues in the home now. Since it's almost done, I just got to do the engine. I'll make it out of tungsten or something. Oh, no. I should have made it out of gold. Oh, let's make the back part out of gold, shall we? First section. Oh, I need to refill my suit again. I hate this. Why did Dirk implement this in such an early build? I know it's supposed to be realistic and all, but it's annoying because it's re creative basically. This is the Scrumble Ship's equivalent of Minecraft's creative mode. Because you can't really die. And you have an unlimited. Yes, uh, unlimited section. Uh, what do you call it? You got unlimited blocks basically. sort of ship. How heavy it is. Wow, that's heavy. 16,000 metric tons. Yeah. That's really heavy. And that's going to be really slow. I think, anyway. I don't know how fast the ship's going to be, really. This ship's like 40 tons of mass... Ah! 40 tons per thruster. That's per thruster. And then there's ones with like a thousand, yes, uh, 40, um, 40 MPT is going to be faster than a thousand MPT because that stands for mass per thruster. So if there's more mass, it's the slower the ship's going to be. But, screwball ship, I don't know how fast 40 is and how slow a thousand is. Be really fast or absolutely slow like a snail. Or slug. Anyway, we're ready for the rockets. At last. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Go about this. How could I forget about this? Actually, this is a nice design because I could actually put rockets down here. I think I will. No way, no, I won't actually. We'll see, we'll see. Because I want rockets so I can actually, in different directions, so I can actually um, maneuver. You just put, them at, just put all the rockets at the back facing backwards then. All the ship's going to do is go in one direction, you're not going to be able to maneuver or anything. Right, rockets, rockets, where are they? Where are the rockets? There they are. What should we make it out of? I think we should make it out of... Column! Right, back. Zero. Is that right? No. Front? No. I want to build it on. I'll build it on this. Now, 
everyone um, everyone else always builds like, like 20 rockets and that's it. And then there's me with like hundreds of rockets or thousands or something. I just like placing a lot of rockets on the back of the ship. Make it go fast. If you're going this far into the video, perhaps you should consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to like this video, that helps me out a lot. And I'm gonna let you all know that I am gonna set up a competition. I have two Armor Free Alpha Elite um, gift codes things to give away on Steam. So if you want to have a chance of winning that, um, drop a comment down below this video and click like and subscribe if you want to get to the, one of those codes for Armor Free Alpha Light. Anyway, my name is Jeremy Von Doom, and I'll see you until next time.